In Photoshop CC 2017, a new way of making selection was added called Select and Mask, which you can find from the Select menu, and it's Command Option R or Control Alt R if you want to use it with a keyboard shortcut. And this feature just got even better with the CC 2018 release. So let's see how this works. If I select it from the menu, it takes us into a completely different view where we can decide how we want to see our selection. The default option should be the onion skin, but you can choose different views from here and you can even access them by their keyboard shortcuts. By default, the transparency should be set to around 50% and also by default, the tool should be selected on the top left, the quick selection tool with which it's worth starting. So with this, all you have to do is to start painting over the details that you wish to keep. So these are going to be selected basically. And then once I get close to having the selection, I will show you how it actually looks. So let me just select the hair as well, like so, the glass and then that part there. So if I want to see now how it looks, I can go to the on black option or on white and that way we can see exactly how the selection looks like but it doesn't stop there because we have soft edge details in this image soft edge details are the ones around the hair for example and for this we can just simply switch to the second tool the refine edge brush tool shortcut is r for switching to this and it's worth using a big brush with which we can draw around these details where the hair needs to show and see how nicely it brings out those details immediately. So if we look at this on white, it almost looks perfect now. So we can see the original if we go back to onion skin and we reduce the transparency to 0%. And by increasing it up to 100%, we can see the extracted version. Now, if we find a few details that actually uh, we missed, and probably the best to see this is on the black and white view, then we can always switch back to the quick selection tool and just fill up those missing details. So by painting over these, these will be added to our selection. And if we find some details that needs to be filled, again, just make sure we go over it. So it's almost like going back and forth between these tools, the selection tool and the refine edge brush tool. Once you are ready with your selection, you can choose the output option to save it as a layer mask and then clicking OK you have your selection turned into a pixel mask which can be further tweaked or it's good to know that if you double click on this by default it will take you back into the select and mask workspace. Thanks to this feature, extracting complex details got much faster and more streamlined in Photoshop CC 2018.